welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basem. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video, we are doing another spooky small business shout out kind of video. I love these. These are my favorite because I love supporting small businesses. Also, if you happen to hear random beeps throughout the video, one of my smoke detectors, the batteries are dying, so it gives you that awesome annoying beep. I'm too short to reach it. My husband has to do it and he's asleep right now, so <laughs> just please ignore it. I'll try and edit it out most as I can, but if it comes up, my bad. I do realize the batteries need to be changed. This month's is a little bit better than the last ones. I didn't uh, spend probably spent about a month as much, but it was fewer items. Some of them are a little, real nice quality, so they were kind of expensive. First thing I wanna to go to, it is this stained glass bat. I got that one from Killstar uh, a couple months ago, and then I saw this one. I think it was Sourpuss was actually selling it, and then I, it was sold out on their website, so I was like, let me find it on the company's website, and Ectogasm is the name of the website. They had another website, but it's beautiful different shades of purple with stars and moons and it's a bat. I mean, this is, if this doesn't scream Jenny, I don't know what does. So I'm really, really excited to have that. It's super cute. Also, if you're new to these small business shout out videos, I will link all of the businesses down in the description below. I usually try and link like their website. If there's the specific item, I will try and find the link for that as well. And then it, usually if they have an Instagram, I link that. Cause I like you guys try and follow them on social media, give them some love because they do some awesome stuff and we gotta support small business. Definitely check the description if you're curious about anything I show in the video. Next thing I want to do is backstitch Bruja. You guys know I love them. Oh my gosh, their work is amazing. It's definitely on the more expensive side, but is really, really good quality. I ordered, pre-ordered this bag back in May. I finally got it like two weeks ago. They were running behind. They were supposed to be shipping it, I think in September was the plan. And then it ran like super behind in production. So I only got it like a couple weeks ago. So mid October, but honestly I'm not mad because this bag is gorgeous. This is the Luna diaper bag. Look at this spiderweb detailing. And it's not even just like stitched. It's like kind of 3D. I wish I could show it to you. You can feel the texture of all these spider webs, but it's amazing. Yes, it is a diaper bag, but I don't have kids. I'm just using it as like, honestly, my purse, my kind of bag. I like to, especially on really rough days, I carry my cane with me and having a nice bag in which I can put my foldable cane into is really, really helpful. Um, also, I thought this would be great for traveling. There's like a million pockets. This, the side pockets hold water bottles if you need to. There's two pockets here. I have my little cat hand sanitizer holder, and then you open it. Look at this most adorable print. It's like a baby bat and witch hat and bat. And then there's an actual like zipped pocket here, which I really, really like. I love bags that actually zip close because so many of them, they don't, they're just like satchels and I don't know, I prefer it to be able to zip. So that same print is on the inside as well. Um, I got all my crap in it, so <laughs> you can see where there's several more pockets. This back pocket right here, you can kind of see, it is an insulated pocket, which I think, you know, if you had a baby, this would be great. You could probably put like little bottles or formula or whatever you need to keep insulated. For me, especially for traveling, I have um, injection medication for my RA and a lot of that needs to be, you know, kept refrigerated, kept cold. So I think this is actually really nice. I could put my RA meds in here, but also it'd be great just like, hey, we're going out for the day, uh, taking a little day trip somewhere. I could put like a sandwich in there. So it's like a picnic bag and a purse and a backpack all in one. This is amazing. I think she is gonna be doing another pre-order of them. I'm not quite sure if they are. Just be patient, okay? Her stuff usually takes a while. Majority of her stuff is pre-order, like 10 to 12 weeks kind of thing. There's some stuff that's ready to ship, so just make sure to read the description on whatever it is you're buying. Then I do love, okay, so the straps are attached by these little lobster claws on both sides. And then it also came with other straps you could attach here to here to just like if you were wanting to hang it on the stroller so actually you probably do it here go it over the stroller and attach it back to that same hook and then you could just hang it on the little 
bar of your stroller. So I think that's really, really cute. And I love that she's doing fun things for all the spooky moms out there of little ones. I think it's adorable. There is another pocket back here. So literally, Craig and I went to this like movie in the park kind of thing a few weeks ago. And it was literally like two days after I got in this. They were doing a bag check and like I, you know, she had to check my bag. She was like, this has so many pockets. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I just got it. I love it. She's like, it feels so new. She's like, I'm afraid to touch it. I don't want to ruin it because it's gorgeous. I was like, thank you. So anyway, I've gotten so many compliments on this bag. And it's, it's really nice. I love all the handles. Everything's really, really sturdy, but it's also like very comfortable to carry. Love, love, love this bag. It is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it for the quality of it. Next thing we're gonna go to, <laughs> I wanted one of these bags four years. Yes, we're doing two bags in one video, I know. But I pre-ordered this in July and I didn't know. I thought it was supposed to come in November. And then I got a notification like a couple weeks ago that it was gonna be shipping soon. And I was like, holy crap. I've wanted one of these bags, honestly, since I very first saw it. And it is the jack-o'-lantern head bag from La Femme Noire. They have, this is like the baby, the baby bag. They have a, like a regular size pumpkin, which I think they said is no longer in production. So they are doing um, pre-sales for this still. So definitely check the link. I think the next one, um, or the one that they're doing right now ships in like December or so. So if you're wanting it maybe for the holidays or for a gift for anyone, definitely check the link. And again, they shipped about a month earlier than I expected. I can't guarantee that they'll do that for you know anything in December. Definitely worth a, worth a look. It's just so cute. Like it's, it's a 3D pumpkin bag. And honestly, it's a pretty decent size. It came with two straps. So you could either do it, like I'm gonna do it as like a crossbody, but it has another strap where you could do it just like an over the shoulder kind of one. Also the print inside, it's like literally a sleepy hollow print. So I don't know if they were able to get the rights to do this or what, or if they collaborated with, you know, freaking Paramount it looks like. so. It's amazing. It's a decent size. I feel like if you're someone who just has like a wallet, phone, maybe some sunglasses, keys, it'll fit great in here. I saw somebody else say like they were thinking about making this their camera bag and I'm like, that's such a good idea. So I might be transferring my stuff from the other bag to this one. Cause I want to carry this around, but I'm also like, oh my gosh, will I ruin this? <laughs> I'll probably take it out sometime over the next couple of weeks since you know, Halloween soon, at least gotta sport it a little bit till then. I'm sure you'll see me like in December, just rocking a friggin' <laughs> tackle in her bag. I love it. I can't believe I was able to get my hands on it. They did say, like I said, they're doing some pre-orders on it, but I think after they finish doing pre-orders, I don't know that's gonna be in production anymore. So if you're wanting to get it, definitely check the link. I think it's really worth it. The quality is really, really nice. And it's something super different. And it's so special that, I don't know, I feel like if you're a spooky gal, especially if you love Sleepy Hollow, it's just, I don't know, it's a special item to have, I think. One other thing I got from La Femme Noir is this snake. It's like a buckle for a belt. And it did come with like a ribbon, so I put it around there and you can kind of wrap that around and make it your belt. This is really, really lovely metal. Look at the eyes, the eyes are like jeweled. I think this is so cool. I actually got this because I'm hoping to maybe try and dress up as Nadja for Halloween. And I thought this would be something Nadja was totally rock. So I thought it was really pretty. Otherwise, I just think it's really lovely, very witchy and I don't know, just really, really different. I love it. I love things that are different like that, that you wouldn't find at like Target or wherever. It's something really, really special. And again, I this is the first time I've ever bought from La Femme Noire. That's probably hard to read. La Femme in Noir. Cause a lot of their stuff is kind of expensive. So I haven't ever bought anything from them, but this was on sale. I think it was part of their clearance section even. So check that out. Um, and then I saw that the bag was <laughs> the available and I was like, <gasps> so I love it. I'm really excited to have gotten some stuff from them. I would love some other of their clothing, but it is expensive. So it's definitely something I think if it's something you really want, we're saving up for because it does look like it's amazing quality of clothing. So that kind of thing, especially for a little bit of a smaller business, you're gonna get better quality. So it can be worth it sometimes. The next thing I talked about this company, I think actually in last month's video is Sandstar Art. Okay, so remember I talked about I had gotten some stickers, couldn't find them. I still haven't found them, but I did like literally after filming that video, I went ahead and reordered them. So this is the one of the little pumpkin ladies having tea. It's so precious. Like look at this little teapot and their dresses and the bats, the chandelier. 
Like this is a whole vibe. I just, I'm so, so excited for. And then I also, I did get, I already tore off the name. This is the one of like the little vintage ones I was telling you about. Cute little vintage creatures. There's a whole pack of them. And her prices are amazing, especially when it comes to the stickers. And then I did go ahead and get some of their, her like she's some spooky Christmas stuff. I thought it'd be, look, it's a candy corn with a Santa hat. I know. Try not to talk about Christmas, but I want to give you guys a heads up in case you're looking for stuff because this is a shop in the UK. So if you're in the US, it'll allow like, usually about three weeks or so for it to get over here. It's about how long it's taken for me. And the last thing I got from them, it is this set of Christmas cards. I got these, um, honestly thinking, mostly of my patrons. I have a few of them and I thought, I thought it'd be really cool to give them each a spooky Christmas card. And also I have maybe a couple other. I might give one to one of my friends, but we have this one right here. Oh my gosh, the tree. Tis the season to be spooky. Little spooky jack-o'-lantern snowman. Wishing you a scary Merry Christmas. Full ghost. And the last one, the jack-o'-lantern stack made to look like a tree. I thought these were really, and again, just really, really different. Um, I'm, I love some Christmas stuff, so I thought these were a cool way to get that into it. And again, supporting a small business, her artwork, I mean, it's so cute and adorable and like creepy cute. If you love creepy cute, you're gonna love her stuff. And she's so, so sweet. Next thing I got, this is actually a um, makeup palette from Gourmand Girls. They collaborated with Doodles by the Bunny. This is the Spooked Eyeshadow Palette. First of all, this packaging, I mean, can we just say, this is gorgeous. I love this like holographic. And then when you open it up, it's these very like beautiful, some of these are darker than they look on camera, but it's very like jewel toned. This is totally screaming Halloween, especially that purple, the green, the orange, the dark purple. Ugh, I can't wait to play around with this. If you guys want to see me film a eye video with this, let me know. Um, I'm happy to do so. They're always a bit of a train wreck, but I have fun doing them. So if you want to see that, let me know. Otherwise I'll probably just play with it one day in the morning. Okay, next thing I have is this is a little bit of a haul from Inman Sprout you know I love. I think uh, every single time I do a small business shout out video, uh, Emma Sprout is part of it. <laughs> so the reason why I initially was like, hey, let me look at the store is they had their cauldron dresses back. I'll try and insert a little bit of either a photo or a video. Um, I got their cauldron dress recently and it is so comfortable for one. Super cute. It's like got that like stretchy kind of material across the top and like beautiful little peasant sleeves but the designs on it, it's these cauldrons that have triple moons on them. There's also little ferns, which I love me some ferns. It's just really, really adorable. And then I went down a whole trick or treat <laughs> spiral. You guys, she has a little Sam. Look at him, this little lollipop. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking adorable. I love how big his head is. But I just think this is so cute. She's done a couple of little stuffed animals before, like the little Mothman she's done. I can't remember, she's done a couple other ones, but when I saw she had a Sam, I was like, oh, yes, please, I must have him. So then I kind of just went down, uh, yeah, like I said, a trick or treat black hole pit of amazingness. So I've got a pair of socks that have the little lollipop on them. Is, oh, they look amazing. They feel really soft. I haven't worn them yet, but they look awesome. They had, she has some ornaments. So I know Christmas, I'm so sorry, but I got, I wanted to get these in time. So I had them. She has these ornaments and they're like little pails. So she had an orange one and a black one. So, so of course I had to get both of them, but these are just so friggin' adorable. And I love it. It's like 3d little pails. So I love having little ways to add a bit of spookiness to my Yule tree. So I just think this is super fun. I'm really excited about it. The last thing I got from her is these earrings. So I went, you know, more pails, all the pails, <laughs> these little pale earrings. I think she has them in black as well, but I really wanted the orange. So it looks super like jack-o'-lantern-esque, but I like these they are really nice, light and comfortable, but they are metal. So they seem like they're going to be pretty sturdy. I'm always pleased with everything she does. So, so I feel like you can't go wrong. Last things I wanted to show um, is what I'm wearing. I got this plus one more item. Jenny, you actually let me know that you found these at CVS. So you guys can probably find this at CVS, but she said like 
They had some sizes and maybe not others, but they had a website. So the brand is called Lildy. I don't know if this is a small business or if it's just something that like also sells to CVS. It's Lildy. Uh, so again, I don't know if it's a small business, but I thought it was cute and I wanted to share with you guys. So again, I don't know if you're still gonna find them in stock at CVS, but they do have a website and there was like 18 different Halloween designs or something. So the first one I got, it's like retro vintage cat, jack-o-lantern, cat in the moon. That's the one that Jenny sent me a picture of and I was like, yes, thank you, ma'am. I must go find that now. And then of course, they had a bat one. These like pastel bats. Oh my gosh. Can you even see the bat just looks like it's like extra furry with the little legs and tails and oh my god. And all these stars with it. I just think it's super cute. And these are hoodies. So um, it's really, really, really soft material. There's a cuff sleeve and then it's got like pockets here and then there is a hood as well. Definitely check them out. They're really, really soft. I feel like they're fun and good for layering for fall and winter. So um, especially it's hard to find this kind of style in like a hoodie comfortable stuff. It's always in like cute, like more proper or like dressy up clothes, which is fine. And I'll, but some days I just want to wear sweatpants and a sweatshirt and my hair all up in a bun. And this is a fun way to be my cute spooky self, but also be super comfortable. I kind of forgot there was one more thing. Well, actually one more place. Um, I get, I don't really know if they would be considered small business, but it's black craft. Um, so I just consider it more like not fast fashion for the most part. Black craft, I, they had a sale going where it was like, if you spent a certain amount, you got a free blanket. <laughs> and the blanket was cute, retro. And then it also had the like, so Sherpa, that's what it is. So I got something, I'll show you in a second what it was, but I spent enough to get the blanket. And this is kind of what the style is. Can you see all these cute, different, spooky creatures, the bat, candy corn. Oh my gosh, there's just so many really cute things, but it's this really, really lovely, soft, like velour kind of material. And the inside is this orange. Oh, Sherpa, I haven't even taken this out of the box yet. So I'm excited to throw this on the couch. I think they might still have that available on their website. If not, um, cause it may just be a seasonal thing. They do have other blankets you can check out. But the thing that I bought in order to get the blanket for free was a pair of shoes, which I don't need another pair of shoes, but I also did need these. Look at these for one. These kind of like, okay, nice black quilted material. The end is like kind of PVC, but then look, it's bat heads. <gasps> Do you see? And they're like metal. So these metal like bat heads with like the PVC are here and then the rest of it's quilted. And they're just flats. These are freaking adorable. They were not cheap, I'm gonna be honest. They were probably the one of the more expensive pairs of flats I own, but I think they're, really cute. They do feel pretty comfortable. Might have to work in the back a little bit, kind of like squish that in so it's not so pointy on your ankle. But I think they were cute. I also caught them because I thought they would look fun with my Nadja outfit. And also I wanted an excuse to buy some bat shoes because <laughs> I've never seen, especially flats, but with a little bat head on it, like this is just all my happy little goth heart dreams. And sorry, I'm working the, the, end of it. <laughs> I can't do it. Look at the shoe. <laughs> that was a terrible angle. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love them. They're actually, like I said, they're pretty comfortable. I'll probably put some like strips on the back of it just to kind of cushion so it doesn't rub against the ankle too much, but I love, I think they're fun and it's like kind of like a nice dressy shoe, but still have that, that hit a spookiness. Like unless somebody's looking really hard, they may not realize that it's a bat right there. <laughs> they may not realize it's a bat right there in their shoe. They may just think it's like, I don't know some flower or something, who knows? I think they're fun and just really, really lovely. But yeah, that is gonna be everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know your favorite thing from the, the full haul down in the comments below. And, and if there's any spooky small businesses you want me to try out, definitely leave those in the comments as well. I'm always curious to see what you guys are liking, who you're buying from, or if you have a, a shop yourself, I would love to check you guys out as well. Again, if you did like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure to hit that bell. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers, everyone. So please help me get to my goal. I would love it. I would really love it and appreciate your support. 
Also, I do have a Patreon if you guys are interested in supporting the channel further. Link for that will be in the description below as well where you can check it out, see all the different tiers and the ways you can support the channel. I always appreciate the extra support. So thank you guys again, whether you're one of my patrons, whether you're a subscriber, or whether you're someone that just dropped by checking out the video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and enjoying the small business spooky haul, all the good stuff. I hope you guys are doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.